Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How you all doing today? Okay, we're working on a basic gas oven. And what happened was they called the utility company out to check the whatever the gas flow, check the unit out. And so basically what they did was they said that uh, there was a bad valve, bad valve. So actually what I did as we went overboard and we replaced the safety valve in there and we replaced the igniter. And first of all, we, we replaced the igniter and that didn't solve the problem. So I went overboard and replaced the safety valve and that still didn't work. And so what I figured was, and I've noticed this before on this, on these uh, stoves, they usually have a valve for the oven. And this valve, if you follow it from the gas line, goes around right here and there's the switch right there. And so that switch has to be on. So if your utility comes out, utility company comes out and checks your stove and tells you you have a problem, they normally shut this off. And they may not leave a note and tell you they shut it off. They may or may not. In this particular case, I was not notified this valve was shut off. And so basically all I had to do was turn this valve back on and replace the igniter. I actually went through two igniters uh, to f try and figure this out. So that's the long way around the story. The short way is basically check this valve that feeds your oven before you replace the igniter or before you replace uh, the safety valve. Okay, so here's a typical problem that happens. You see the thermal probe right here is sort of hanging in midair. And what I usually do is I will take a piece of coat hanger and sort of make a little hanger for it and then put it around it and then stick it up in the hole to hold it up in place. coat hanger and that's how I do it thanks for watching your donations support reuse and recycling worldwide Bill's Recycling Enterprises PO Box 7021 Eureka California 95502 Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com.